Okay, next up we're going to talk about um, making a sitemap using a plugin. And we're also going to show you how to get a, a Yahoo application ID, which is important for um, getting this sitemap up on Yahoo. So let's go to plugins and just make sure that it's the plugin we're looking for has already been installed and it's called Google XML sitemaps but it's not necessarily just for Google alright so let's go down to settings and then go all the way down to XML sitemap and you'll see in this summary right here that the sitemap was last built on September 2nd at 7.05 it's, it was zipped and built on September 2nd Google was successfully notified, Bing was successfully notified, and Ask was successfully notified. You'll notice that the, the fourth major search engine, Yahoo, is not here. So what you need to do is go back, go down to basic options, and you need to click this box and enter your application ID. If you don't have such a key, you request one here. Okay, so basically you click on this link, you sign in with your Yahoo account and you fill all of this out. Okay, follow the directions, um, hit continue, you'll get a Yahoo application ID. Once you've got that, you go back here and you paste it in here like so. Then you scroll all the way down and you hit update options. Now if you want, you can actually rebuild your sitemap right now. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, I leave all of these options as is. I'm one of those default kind of guys. So what you can do is you can rebuild the sitemap manually. Once you do that, you should see a new entry here. Yahoo was successfully notified about changes. That's a good thing. The great thing about this plugin is it's awesome for SEO. It's awesome for search engine optimization. Um, giving Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask your sitemap really helps those services um, spider, index, and consequently rank your content highly beneficial highly beneficial the next step you should take however is to look at these sitemap resources over here and go to the webmaster tools the site explorer and the bing webmaster tools and look at these and what you'll want to do in um, the case of for Google Webmaster Tools is you'll want to add a site right here and then we will type in the site address which is and then click continue now follow these instructions. You need to download this HTML verification file. Once that's downloaded, go get it. Put that over here. Go to your FTP client. And you need to put it in the root. Just drag it over here and go back to your website. Um, you can confirm that it was there. So if there's text in this file, you know it's there. And then click verify and continue. And what you want to do next is look at all these options. This is not a course in how to use Google Webmaster Tools, so don't get too excited. I'm not going to explain all of this stuff in detail. But what you can do is click on sitemaps and submit a sitemap. 
and then if you go back here you'll see the address of your XML sitemap is right here. So just copy that, go back to Webmaster Tools, submit a sitemap, paste it in there, click the button, and you'll see that I've submitted four URLs. Now let's see if that's true. How many pages and posts do I have? So I have two posts one page and then the index page so that's four so that makes sense all right so we can get rid of this for Yahoo Site Explorer it's it's kind of the same so you type in your web address add my site And then you do you do basically the same procedure by uploading a verification file to my site. Download it. There it is. Go back here. Refresh. There it is. Go back here. Drag that into root. Go back here. Verify it's there. It's there. and then click on ready to authenticate. Oh, I left out something. You need to put this into the file. So we can edit this with notepad. And I believe you have to put it between the body, like that. And then go back here. Drag it back over. Just verify that that happened as planned. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. Now we can go back here. Click on here. Click here. Oh, note that it says verified, so that was good. And then you can type in sitemap.xml and it is a website feed. Add the feed. And once you're done with that, you're done with Yahoo. And it's here. Interestingly enough, it says pending submission to Microsoft. So we're not even going to bother with Bing. And get rid of these and just know that um, your website is now set up with an XML sitemap that is going to help you immensely every time you add content that sitemap is going to get updated and it's going to get sent out to those four services that is extremely awesome that's good that's a good combination of on-page and off-page SEO working right there that's going to help your website rank well for your keywords immensely